Hello everyone, today I've thought of challenging myself a little bit. So these are the ideas that I've had for the challenge, right? I want to pretend or like, like, you know, like play out like how would an APT or like a group of hackers or just like a few individuals or like someone go about making a basic framework for hacking. For example, maybe a brute forcing tool which ultimately pipes to oh wait no wait a banner grabbing a scanning tool which scans to open port which sends to a banner grabbing tool which then sends to a brute forcing tool like a framework that's built on multiple things working together so I'm just gonna add this so port Scanner, then banner, tester, then brute forcing tool. But that's some of that's just like one of the ideas I had. But there's gonna be challenges. I've I fought a few challenges, but like this is the only thing I could really come up with. Is I'm mostly gonna use different AIs to coded function by function and then add the function together it's going to mostly be made out of python i might try using anything which is an automation tool for this if i get to it but you, this won't come out on the day of recording as you can see it's like 21 this might come out i'm thinking of releasing it uh each episode even if i complete multiple episodes one episode a week and like give progress updates and then go from there. Yeah, but I'm gonna start from scratch. I'm not gonna copy paste someone's tool from GitHub and shit like that. I'm not gonna try. It might, it, well, because mostly code is gonna be written by a purely AI. And I'm gonna tell what functions, do this, do this, combine it. And I'm trying to make a whole attack framework from scratch. Which is all like, I'm thinking of going two routes, right? Maybe a management tool, which runs the other tools, or second option, a library, or a system process. Each one running separately, but working together. That's what my plans are basically for this idea. Which, I, that's all I have so far for this. But yeah, I've, this is basically what I'm going to think of it like, right? Maybe I can, yeah, I can either do this, right? Automate, run each tool separately, right? One creates a text file, this one checks, so it creates to this, right? And then this one fetches from that one which then outputs into its own text file, right? I, I'm doing a, I don't know, this is like, just don't, just don't judge me about this. Uh, this is like the best I could think of, of how I can do it. And then this also does the exact same thing. And by doing this, we can get a successful output. But the problem is going to need a lot of validation. So if there's nothing there, it's going to wait. So I'll have to make it check on which current line it is. Say that as a scan progress of a file. And if a scan, pro if it, there's a new line after that current line on the file, it goes to that line and continues from there. So I can probably use a magic file, right? So... A magic file. I'm gonna say make a separate uh, blue progression. This is gonna be for all of them. This is stuff that's gonna be for all of the files. Progression files. Progression system. Let's call it a dot magic file, right? And um, after that, there's going to be 
Next is gonna be the output file. Output file. Right? Skin output. And after the output file. Okay, I'm just gonna. I just wanna color this in. So, red. Raid of tools and the files. Oh, no, I'm gonna make the files they produce. Hello, I just like stuff having order and all stuff. I don't all not orders, I like the designing stuff. So it's more tools, right? Understandable, okay. And this one is gonna be the input. Right. And put file. Okay. And this is optional. All right. It's optional. The reason why in my own might be optional. This is not going to be mass automation. It's not basic processes. And it is good for certain things. I don't think it's necessary if I just combine them and make a mini pipeline. Like, it's going to be free Python tools. Going to automate that. So I'm going to try doing different things like brute forcing. And I might have to set up some stuff like a test environment and then you know do working code this is going to be uh, I don't know, purple yeah this is what's fun okay these are going to attack test NV for environment Gonna start with Talnet. Okay, so the first we're gonna do Talnet. Local host. Dead. Local, like, not local host, that's not on my own system. La no, yeah, it's local, it's local host because I don't want to touch touched by anything because I don't want Talnet running. I don't like Talnet. Local hosted. Yeah. Okay. So this is what we have so far. Can I say two so it's two is going to be here. 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 And then Okay. This is my planning so far. Okay, that's what I've got for now. And the next part I might this might start I'm showing you some of the progress I've made on the tools and some of the challenges I've had. I'll, I'll record them, stitch them together and everything. So I'll see you guys later in the next episode of it when, when I'm done with this, you know. And I saw I'm not uploading that much. It's just work and other stuff and projects. I'm being sick. I'm, I'm currently sick right now as of recording this. Yeah, lots of medication and problems. So. But not that I'm fine. I'm not like day date sick, but I just don't feel really well. It's like effort to record stuff like this. But um, I hope everyone enjoys the day. Stay safe. And I'll probably see you in the next video. Bye. Peace.